Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel. I'm Ofelia Orate, a principal owner of a school and tutorial center, a math teacher, and an author of 21 books. My most recent books are the following. College Entrance Reviewer Books 1 and 2, Core Concepts Reviewer for any high school, especially Science High School, PSHS Reviewer Volume 3 and 4. You can buy them online at Lazada and Shopee. My channel is about math tutorials which can help you with your entrance exams, SAT, and ordinary math class lessons. Please subscribe and click the bell button. Let's start! Problem number one. Okay, given the figure, what is the measurement of the angle in the figure? Oh, here, this angle. Okay, let us see. So, if we have this triangle here, which is isosceles, given by the markings, if this is 60, 60, this must also be 60, right? Because when you add the angles, the three angles of a triangle, you should get a sum of 180. Now, if this is 60 and this is 20, this whole thing will be 80 because we have another triangle here. Let's call our triangle here A, B, A, B, D. Do you see that? So this is 60 plus 80. Oh, what's that? 60 plus 80 is 140. Mm. Subtract from 180. So 180 minus 140, we have 40. So this must be 40. The correct answer is letter D, 40. Next, problem number two. Given 2 to the x, oh, this must be, let us rewrite this. 2 to the x over 2 to the y equals 2 cubed. Which of the following is true? Now, apply loss of exponents. Recall. Recall that x to the m over x to the p, remember, is equal to x to the m minus p. Of course, here m is greater than p. Oh, so, if you have 2 to the x over 2 to the y equals 2q, this is 2 to the x minus y is equal to 2 to the third. If the bases are the same, then the exponents are also the same. Therefore, x minus y is equal to 3. Do we have a choice like that? Yes, letter E. Problem number 3. What is the 50th month after December? Okay, this is a problem on patterns. 50th month. Don't count 50th. Don't count uh, 50 times, no? Th this is what you do. There's a pattern here. You always have 12 months in a year, January, February, March, April, May, until December. So what you do is, you divide 50 by 12, because there are 12 months in a year. 50 divided by 12 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 1 is 4, 48, remainder 2. And then, after December, kaya December, ano susunod? What's next? January, then February. Remainder 2. 1, 2. So our answer is February. Okay, let's have a practice. There was a time that my Athenian students asked me about uh, this. What is, what is the 2000, 2000 day from today Saturday and this was a problem that uh, they asked me to solve after the upcut okay so this is how you do it what is the 2000th day from today Saturday days 
have patterns. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, that doesn't change. No? It repeats. Paulit-ulit. So, all you have to do is to divide 2,000 by 7. 7 days a week. 20 by 7 is 1, 2. 2 times 7 is 14. 20 minus 14 is 6. Bring down 1. 60 divided by 7. Hmm. 8, right? 8 times 7 is 56. Oh, 60 minus 56 is 4. Bring down 0. 40 divided by 7. What's the nearest? 5. 5 times 7 is 35. Remainder 5. Oh, since there's a remainder 5, you start from Saturday. What's the next one? Sunday, then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, repeat. Remainder 5. You start from Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So, it is Thursday. Or it will be Thursday on, on the 2000th day. Problem number 4. What is 1.2% in rational form? Rational means fractional. So, 1.2%, you just do it this way. 1.2% means 1.2% is per 100. Then, move the decimal point one place to the right. You also move it here. So, you have here 12 over 1,000. I move it there. So, I add a zero here. 12 and 10 are both divisible by 2. Or let's make, yeah, by 2. 12 by 2 is 6. 10 by 2 is 5. Then copy the two zeros. But 6 and 50 are again both even. So they are both divisible by 2. 6 by 2 is 3. 500 by 2 is 250. So the final answer is 3 over 250. Are this, are, can we still simplify this? Not anymore. The answer is letter A. Problem number 5. If 3 quantity x plus 2 equals 5x minus 2 quantity x minus 3, then what is the value of x? So in this problem, uh, we just have to simplify this. 3 times x is 3x plus 3 times 2 is 6 equals 5x minus 2x. Take note, this is negative. Negative, negative is positive 6. Let's see, 3x plus 6, 5x minus 2x, positive 6. So combine all the, the like terms, so this is 3x plus 6. But what, what do you see now? The left side and the right side of the equation are both equal. So from here pa lang, you can already conclude that the solution set is any real number. Or if you see something like this, any real number, the set of any real number, you can already conclude that. Why? Whenever the left side and the right side of the equation are equal, then any value of x will satisfy the equation. Let us say you forgot. You didn't see because of time pressure. You were under time pressure. You were, you know, you were solving so many things. Let's say you continued. It's okay. Let's say you continued. So 3x, copy 3x here. Transpose 3x to the other side, minus 3x. And then 6 here, minus 6. Isn't it? There, 3x minus 3x equals 6 minus 6. You get 0 equals 0. There. So this is a true statement. Still, you will end up with any real number. The correct answer is any real number. Okay, let's have practice. Let us say you're given 3 quantity x plus 2 is equal to 3x plus 5. What is your answer? Now, this is 3x plus 6 equals 3x plus 5. What do you notice about the left side and the right side? They are not equal. You can immediately conclude that the answer is the empty set. 
no, if the left side and the right side are not equal. Let's say you didn't notice that you're, because you were pressed for time. You continued, okay lang. 3x transpose that minus 3x equals 5 transpose 6 negative 6. You get 0 equals negative 1. You see, this is a false statement. When you have a false statement, your answer will be empty set or no value. Empty set means no value. No value for x. Oh, let us say naman you were given like this. 3 quantity x plus 2 is equal to 2x is equal to 2x, uh, let's say, oh, plus 6. Mm -hmm. So what happens? So you'll have here 3 quantity x plus 2 equals 2x plus 6. This is 3x plus 6 equals 2x plus 6. Oh, subtract 2x to both sides. So 3x minus 2x equals 6 minus 6. Isn't it? Transpose that, transpose that. So you get x equals 0. That's when your answer is equal to 0. Problem number 6. When simplified, 8 times square root of 48 is equal to a uh, what you can do here is to factor 48 in such a way that one of the factors is a perfect square. So, what is a, a perfect square? Like 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16. These are perfect squares we call them ps perfect squares so so 16 times 3 is 48 isn't it why did i choose 16 because it's a perfect square it's it will be easier then you take the square root of 16 square root of 16 is 4 bring it out multiply it here square root of 16 again is 4 8 times 4 is 32 square root of 3 so the final answer is letter B. Let us say, uh, you, you might ask, Mrs. O, what if I use another factor for 48? It's okay. Let us try that. What factors do you think are you going to use? Let us say you use 8 times 6 is 48. That's okay. Keep on simplifying. This is 8. Oh, square root of 8 again is... 4 times 2, that is 4, 8, right? Then copy 6 here. Oh, square root of 4 is 2. Bring it out. 2. Then you're left with 2. And 6 is 2 times 3. Oh, there. It's still okay. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times square root of 2 times 2 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2. Bring it out again, square root of 3. 16 times 2 is 32, square root of 3. You'll get the same answer, but this one is shorter. Before we end, always remember to add kindness, subtract judgments, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. Please subscribe and click the bell button. Thank you.